What's up guys? Welcome back to Firewatch for episode 2. Uh, this will probably be another long episode, so if you guys are uh, down for that, then uh, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so let's go ahead and load that game. Yeah, fix the window, got it. Okay, so where we left off was uh, we had planned to go over to where those teens were, trash their camp, teach them a lesson, a thing or two, and lo and behold, when we got there, their camp was already messed up, and we got blamed for it. So there's some uh, hijinks going on, there's some stuff going on where, uh, yeah, we're the, we're the butt of someone's joke, basically, right now, and uh, yeah, we're trying to figure that out. So uh, we're going to be going ahead and, yeah, we just finished up with a conversation with the, the Lila also about, you know, what we look like, I'm a... You know, tired-eyed, uh, Burt Reynolds-looking dude. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, work on fixing up this, uh, window. So, for that, I need to go get some wood. Ha, ha, ha. Obligatory penis jokes. Anyway, where the heck am I gonna get some wood? Oh, there's one. That was easy. I'm gonna grab that. Get a couple more boards. I would love to. I don't know why they're just kind of scattered all over the place, but, uh, hey, let's go ahead and grab them all. I don't know if four is going to be enough, probably. How about these cinder blocks? Yeah. Yep, that's a cinder block, all right. All right, that's cool. Uh, I think four will be enough, more than likely. We'll see. How about those ones? Why don't you just grab one of those? Seemed like it would be a little bit easier. Eh, whatever. So yeah, it's been a been a couple days since I uh, played, but uh, I've been looking forward to it. Interesting idea to start at the bottom like that. I like how it takes him like one hit per board for the nail. That's impressive. So I only needed three. So now I've got an extra board in my inventory somewhere. I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? Oh yeah, that reminds me. That reminds me. Let's go ahead and turn the voice volume up a tad. Eh, 90 will probably be fine. Yeah. And yeah. What's next? Yeah. Oh, nope, wrong one. What else is here? That's it? Okay, that's it. <coughs> Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. <laughs> Actually, nah. of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. Ooh. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Time to go find a sander. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. You really gonna go make me take a seat? Oh, okay. <laughs> Shortest day ever. <laughs> okay, on to day nine. Fun stuff. There was actually just recently a patch for this game today. Apparently, it increased uh, like stability and controls and you know crap Hello, like that. Henry. Having a nice afternoon. This is afternoon. <laughs> Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. No, seriously? Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily oh, McLean, no. were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably awesome. the person to have <laughs> After what I did, that sucks. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I caused them some trouble, but nothing major. I'd never even got very close to them. 
Well, uh... One stereo, that's it. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, don't. don't. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. I will enjoy the sunset. Wait, why'd you say afternoon when it, the sun's already set? Whatever. Okay, okay day 15. <laughs> Ozans, you are in for a trip. <laughs> What's up, Chappie? Yeah, that's what I've heard. I've heard the game gets pretty crazy. But you know what? I'm prepared. Maybe I'm not prepared. Maybe my heart can't handle it. <laughs> Rockman was saying that my heart can't take it. <laughs> Half a month down. Henry, wake up. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. That tone of voice sounds uh quite ominous. If I'm being honest. All right. Let me turn on the light first, because I'm not a damn animal. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hi, Julia. Oh. You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. What? Are you having a nice time? Uh. What? What? Why is Julia talking to me? Henry, are you having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's I, I don't bad. like this. He's starting to freak out. I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Yo. Seriously? Oh, man, he's losing it. He's going crazy. It's only been 15 days. Well, technically day three, 33 now, but still. Homie's going crazy. He's not even going to remember that conversation that the, if, if that even happened, if Delilah had ever even actually uh, responded. Oh my god. Homie's going crazy. Yeah, no, I could, I could tell, Chappy. Yeah, definitely having hallucinations. So I guess we're going to go over to... Uh, Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies thing. all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Well, what? How's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, All when you right. find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists... A few I've already been up to the supply there. drop. I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Makes me wonder what they dropped off in the time. A day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> Heck, surprised uh, with all that marijuana, she can uh, only go off of six. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. Hmm. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and... I'd just be spoiling it. Confirmed hallucination. Okay, you know, when it comes to her. Hmm. Let's go with silence. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. I totally walked right into the, uh... Incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. I bet he was. Uh -huh. For almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um... Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier's wow. dad was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. 
I came out here, I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. There's nothing wrong with, uh, told me so much telling someone. You. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. I appreciate the, uh, the candor. Truth is hard to tell, especially when it's something like that. Let's see, the only thing I don't like is that you have to walk to get to locations. Fallout 4 spoiled me with fast travel. Oh, Chappie, that's the whole point of this game. Walk around, appreciate your surroundings, and all that. I mean, that that is the game. You know, from what I can tell, anyway. But yeah, it, it th that whole aspect of it doesn't really bother me. And I'm here. Good thing I've already been here. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. <laughs> one of these days, one of these combinations isn't going to be one, two, three, four, and I'm going to freak out about it. Okay. Oh, what? No, open. Okay. For two forks. For other lookout. Well, oh. that's that's cool. What about these other ones? Food for the lookout. Huh. What if I want to take those? What if I want all the food? My god. I could be an evil genius. Eh, whatever. Alright, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? <laughs> Whoa, day 64. It's interesting trying to fill in the gaps between the days to see how, you know, Delilah and Henry have been interacting and all that stuff and just going off of context clues. I really like that about games, or certain games anyway, how uh, the game doesn't, you know, hold your hand throughout the entire process, lets you fill things in. Why, whoa. For what might be the biggest fire of the year. Damn. Yeah, it's really going. I'm going to call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but Out south. we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. Turt Reynolds, but the fire. Do the honors? Hmm. Flapjack fire. What about Delilah? <laughs> so, no ideas, huh? Let's go with flapjack. Uh, Maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? So you really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. You're a camp cooking accident. <laughs> the flapjack so Fire. Right down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I don't know if I want to start anything with Delilah, so... I've yeah. had one too many bad experiences with tequila. Maybe in another playthrough? Reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new, good experience with it. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Oh? Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but... When the sun is down, you can just get lost. Good chill bourbon is heaven. Yeah. If you say so, Chappie. I'm I'm not much of a drinker. I'm glad you're here. Hmm. Let's see. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean we've had such a good time, right? Hmm. I guess we did. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. 
game, are you going to force me into some kind of a romantic thing? I want you to know, well, maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. It'd be nice to be near somebody. We could talk without these radios. We could, um... You know... I'm still married. Are you gonna game? Are you gonna force me to say something like this? Are you gonna force me to enable this behavior? Watch this fire and try to imagine all the old dead things that's burning away. You you laid it on a little thick there, Delilah. <laughs> like you you're not being very uh you know secretive with your motives here. I mean, it's only been like two months, right? So. Unless he's been hallucinating this entire time, and he's only been there for like a week. You're going fishing without a license? Ooh. It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. T that reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and um. You know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Damn burrs. Problem bear, fuck that. It's problem of euphemism. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Ugh. Damn kids. I can't believe I'm going to leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I just think it's weird in first-person things, not necessarily shooters, obviously, how people carry things. Like this guy, he's basically holding this in front of his face, you know, maybe a little bit off. I don't know, it's just, it's just weird. I've never seen a, um, a first-person game that, uh, you know, clearly... Hello? Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. Well, it could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's put that away for now. What do we got here? Well, I, I didn't read that. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did Whoa. you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk Pretty self explanatory. To as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. What Henry? the fuck? I'm worried. A bullhorn? You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay? It's a radio. Oh, God. I don't know why I just called you that. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, Chappie, yes, I will be playing No Man's Sky. A lot. It's going shithouse. Well, get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. Will do. Interesting. Oh, shit! You son of a... Oh, wow. Henry? Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Motherfucker. Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something. Surprised he left me in my radio. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I, don't I got know. assaulted. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, 
Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you, Why did they have to hit me in the head? Are you sure you saw what, what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. Hmm. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. But just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You Yo, if I gotta kill someone, I will kill someone. What do you got here? Huh. A book. Neil Black thought a trip to California would do him good. He'd soak up some sun, drive a convertible, and maybe even enjoy a poolside drink with a tiny umbrella. <laughs> Alright. So it's a murder mystery. That's cool. Put that in there. Let's, uh, what's up with this note? Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance that they had anything to do with those girls disappearing? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know him that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. They talk about Wapiti, though. Interesting. Oh, cool. You can actually look at the transcript for it. That's cool. Don't need to do that. He writes well enough. Yeah, but I'm super looking forward to... Uh, no Man's Sky, though. Straight up. Alright, Lobbity Station. Let's go check this place out. Fly drop again. Alright, so yeah, let's go hit up that North Trail. See what's going on. Drop down. Oh yeah! The twists and turns in this story, man. Messing with me. So that radio that was there, that was the one that the dude had tuned into our actual frequencies. And that's why he was listening. It's creepy stuff, man. Somebody out here listening to the shit that we're saying. Up to no good. I don't like it. I don't like it. But it's very interesting. I'm, I'm very much enthralled. I, I want to know more. So the game is doing a pretty good job on uh, on that front. Alright, where am I? Still going the right way, I trust? Or am I uh, totally going the opposite way? Yeah, I'm totally going the opposite way. Damn it. Alright, I don't know why I thought going that way was the correct way. Whatever. It's fine. It'll give us more time to sit here and, uh, you know, talk. I wonder how Turt Reynolds is doing. I miss him. I miss you, Turt Reynolds. I don't even think I've seen him since I picked him up and adopted him. It's okay, though. Is that like an inventory? I don't even think I've seen inventory. Hmm. Oh, well. I'm sure the things that, uh... Quit making noise, woods, bushes. You're messing with me. Everything's messing with me. Everything wants me dead. Alright, so now that I'm back here. Yeah, we'll just continue the way that I was going before. Oh, 
Alrighty. So now that we're back on the right track. What do you guys think about the game so far? I'm sure that, you know, a bunch of people have already beaten it. Obviously, considering it's a potentially very short game. I've heard reports of uh, four hours or so. Alright, so yeah, we definitely have to go down this way. Heck, I'm surprised there's not ropes already everywhere. You're telling me in, in the two months or so that uh, Henry's been here, he hasn't explored like every inch of this place? I find that a little hard to believe, but it's okay. It's okay. Gives me a chance to look for it. Oh. Huh. Stack rocks. I want to take a picture of that. It's the most idealistic way to take this picture. Yeah. All right. I'm sure there's got to be some achievements, uh, you know, lined up with uh, taking pictures and whatnot. I haven't gotten any, obviously. I've gotten like the uh, the trophies for. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How Climb it? it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. It's the bears. <sighs> See what you can do to get past it. I mean, I can just climb it, honestly. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Mm -hmm. We'll see about that. It'd be something. Ooh, a gate. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Shove. Interesting shove. Bonk. 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 Okay. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's Beat up the rock again. If they haven't left, they're Damn it. probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. And the rock is gone. Alright, well, let's go look for them uh, burly firefighters. Mm-mm. Alright. Uh, south of Ruby River. Ah. South of Ruby River. Scout camp? Possibly? I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Hmm. So what do you guys... What do you guys think is in, uh... That fenced-off area? Whoppity. Think it's a... Alternate, uh... Lookout tower? That used to be there? Nope. Maybe it's a, uh... Radio place that, uh... Is getting in contact with aliens? Maybe Area 51 wasn't so off? Let's get out of here. I want to know who freaking cold clocked me. Seriously. Pisses me off. Alright, so... Yeah. Either way, I gotta go that way. Hey, what's up, Bayside? How you doing? Yeah, let's go through Thunder Canyon. What's the worst that could happen? Glad I didn't conk my head on that uh, log. That would have sucked. Floating shadow. Got it. There's the music. I like the music. I feel like I say that every time, but I, I, I do really like the music. It really sets the tone. And like these sections where uh, you're not really doing anything. Yeah. It's nice. Just chilling, huh? Nice. Hmm. Hey, I called around. 
and things seem normal with everyone else. Interesting. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? I say the exact nothing. same thing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Oh, definitely intercepting. Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, it's I not... don't even know how you would do that. Not hard. Well, you, you, sound you, just, you switch over to the no, frequency and that's it. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. I know it's 89, but radios aren't like a mystery. Who put this lock back on? I mean, I would assume Henry did, but I didn't do it. Why does it keep doing that? So, nothing. Got it. Alright. Guess I can just go through the cave. Yeah. Glad I remember the flashlight controls. Who wants to bet that the door is open now? Oh. Fine. I'm pretty curious about what's in that cave. I'm sure we'll find the key here pretty soon. You don't have a good feeling. feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Although yeah. Ned might not have been very reliable. No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Hopefully. I bet we're gonna find his body inside the cave. That would suck. <laughs> Alright, so let's head back up here. See if anything's gonna happen to us when we get by the lookout. Just don't hit me in the face as I'm climbing these rocks. Cause that would suck! Wonder what that dude's end game is. Somebody put Forrest Burns back. Oh, Flapjack's still a thing. I mean, we, she said that it would probably be burning, you know, all summer, but yeah. Whoa, the Flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Let's see. Am I going the right way? Yeah, probably. Gotta head to that bend and then just keep going straight down, I guess. Right. Just head due south and I should make it. Not bad. Maybe hit up a cache or two when I uh, make my way over here. Yeah, but I know I, I know that I've, I've said this a couple times, but I'm really enjoying this game. Just feels good, man. That fire. Balling out of control. I 
There's the cash. <laughs> Jump when I could just walk across. Why not? Don't want to get trench foot now. You know, seriously, wet socks? Worst. What do we got here? Old toilet paper, pine cone, more toilet paper, book, hmm, bunch of books. I wonder if there's a trophy for like, uh, my terminal seven. That's cool. One chance to die. Lending library. Is this just a library thing? Got it. Uh, let's see here. I really wish the power is that B could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time I prefer keep the th thing, uh, keep things pinned to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. So she keeps leaving messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through this bottle of fins or five, fives, yeah, fives instead. Miss you. Interesting. Well, let's go ahead and get that info. Okay. So what do we got here? Oh, recent burn. Put that away. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Yeah, me too. See. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Mm hmm. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ha! <laughs> uh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Yeah, I'm always in the mood for wordplay. Spoilers. Spoilers and everything the light touches is yours. Oh, I know. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. <laughs> Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Got it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. No, I get it. I also think it is a great name. The hell am I? Oh, okay, yeah, I, I'm going the right way, I guess. That's cool. I'm like right here, actually. Camp. Arapa. 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 Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the fifties. I was never really Damn. into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Or is that right with me? I can't cross here. Gee, thanks. Large numbers. Beware of anyone. That's totally a broken bridge. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. All right. What do we got here? So I gotta go all the way up north, probably cross that river, and then work my way through that trail. Got it. Turt, I wish you were here with me right now. I need someone to hold me. <laughs> ah, where am I? I went way too far. Damn it. Alright. 
probably jump across here. Ooh, cut that tree down. Make a path that way. <laughs> Beware Zans with kids, you'll punch them. Dun dun dun. I don't know if that really requires a dun dun dun. I think I've I've let my uh I'm gonna do I just get to jump this? I've I've let my feelings be known on children. Especially children that steal from me. Damn kids. Long drop down. I don't wanna go down. I mean I guess I do, but yeah. I'm gonna have to get an axe, cut that tree down, cross it that way. Where are the firefighters? Seriously. Where are the firefighters at? I mean, are they, are they all on like coffee break or something? Oh. You ever talk to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weedle or whatever. <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? It's a knot. Uh, well, it's a knot that you are probably <laughs> too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weebolo do it. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weebolos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Alright then. Stomp that out. Is it already out? Out? No, there it is. I am nowhere near that. That's... Okay. <laughs> that's That's cool. Dang. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. <laughs> I like that. Scouts are stalwart prey. <laughs> Hunting the dangerous game. The game of scouts. I just like looking at everything. Well, there's the axe. How nice of them to just leave it in a tree for me. Hmm? I can't remember what that's for, but it looks awfully familiar. I mean, other than the, the Dark Souls Bloodborne emblems. But, yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hmm. Let's wait on that axe for a second. Trowel. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Or kill a man. Wow, um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? I will not. I'm still holding it. Why am I still holding it? <laughs> oh, that's a real mystery. Because you're holding it by the business end? Or rather, not the business end? So, why would there be poop on that? Anyway. Toilet paper. Yep, that's toilet paper. Memo. KD, they left something behind. It's like a memo from their boss. Hmm. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Hmm. Ask me, horn toads. <laughs> you and I aren't very interesting. Us. They're researching us. You, you think they're studying you and me? I do. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's about... Studying two isolation every day. More like it. Like if you put someone in isolation with someone else, that, there it is. What they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but 
God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds or, you know, check in when you can and kill the man. Keep an eye out for anyone following you. Guess what? What you got? I found an axe back near that camp. A uh, firefighter left it? Probably, yeah. It's got, like, a funny little point. Sure does. <laughs> sure does. That's called a Pulaski. It's standard issue. Whatever. This Pulaski I found means I can start clearing these trails. Who just starts chopping a tree and doesn't finish? Honestly. Quack. Chop. <laughs> Thanks, Rockman. Oh, when I find that guy that cold clocked me, I am gonna ask him a question so hard. They're happy now. Just fucking hop over. Okay. Not the context that I would have called it, but whatever. So, now I've got a Pulaski. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? The pond. Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. Whoa. Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? <laughs> no. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh there awesome. There's any way someone, like another lookout, could be on this line, is there? Fucking called it. No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Got it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know, for a second, I thought she had someone, like, locked up in her tower. Like, someone captive. I was going to be like, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing, Delilah? <clears throat> it's pretty intense. Not gonna lie. Yo, we still haven't fixed that. Thoroughfare damn thing. Tower. This is Two Forks calling you for the oh fiftieth time today. Yo, said don't the use your radio. Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, I went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? <laughs> Are you kidding right now? Did you not stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, She's faking okay. it. Obviously. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding yeah. tree species, etc. Right uh, uh, alright. Just, you know... Have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Did you, like, do anything to it? Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Yo, seriously? Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Top sure. Row. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. I would love to. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. But yeah, thanks, Henry. A little slow on the upkeep. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Sure thing, Delilah. Over and out. Let's do this. Where's... Where's Turt? Oh yeah, I need to look for Turt. Where the hell is Turt? Is he in this box? Turt, where are you? Turt. Turt. Turt Reynolds, you come to me when I call you. Hmm? Did I 
do this, escape from two works. Halfling village. Did I do this? That's pretty awesome. Oh, I didn't hey, do it. There's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation. Um, unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs and the lake to the east is made of acid. Two orcs? Uh, looks like it was made by Brian Goodwin. wonder if his dad hated this type of stuff and he felt like he had to hide it. Oh, man. That would be sad. So you have a soft spot for nerds? I really do. Yeah, okay, Delilah. Yo, I'm a little concerned about where Turt Reynolds is. And this smoke. I feel like I'm back in Hawaii. And for those of you that uh, don't understand the reference, well, yeah. Go to Cottonwood Creek. Yes, thank you, game. Thank you. Cottonwood Creek. Okay, so right next to uh, Pork Pond. Lovely. Got it. So, we're going south. Again. The same path I went through the other time. Anyway. Let's continue. This smoke, though... You know, if I'm being followed, and they're not just tapping the radios, they took your pet. God damn it! Damn it, Rock Band! Why'd you have to jinx it? I loved her. He was like, he was like Bucket, a new member of my family. Anyway, though, but if they are really tapping my radios and people are following me, um, wouldn't they just follow me to uh, Cottonwood Creek? And uh, you know, know where I am, regardless. Just saying. Yes, her jumping. I'm glad that uh, the fire didn't jump the lake. Or river, or whatever. That would suck. Every time I hear that, it always makes me nervous. Footsteps and shit. Oh, okay. I guess, uh, keep going this way, then. Keep on running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool tree. You guys ever seen Big Fish? Yeah. Straight up. This is this is this is just exactly what Big Fish looks like. Great movie, by the way. If you guys have never seen it, some of uh, Ewan McGregor's best work. I was able to keep my pet. Shut up, Rockman. Uh, did I just write this big ass tree on here? I did. Big tree. So. How much further do I have to go? I'm I'm here. Huh. It's a tree sand, it's not a fish. It's a movie called Big Fish. You've obviously never seen it. Guess I can go to the cache real quick since I'm already here. I probably have to go back over there somewhere. Oh, or right here. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Oh, uh, I was heading there anyway. Here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. Huh. It's five six seven eight. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was in a rush. Uh, okay, found the cash box. Great, open it. Now you're just spinning tails. I'm spinning yarns. I think you uh, mean to say, Rockman. Okay. Uh, yo, who is step stepping out there? You, you fuck off. Hate you. Just one stray match. 
three blind rats. Classic. Should be fairly obvious. I don't even want to talk. I don't even want to say anything about it on the old, old radio. Kind of defeats the purpose. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. If you weren't followed anyway. Holy fuck, Henry! We have to get into that site. Agreed. Whatever these people are doing on this. Is legal, right? We need to find out how they're doing it, why, everything. Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to mm -hmm. us all summer. How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? You think I'd have something to say about the ski that's here? Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Well, maybe you do need to be relieved. The coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Am I really going to do this at night? I feel like I'm really going to do this at night. All right. I probably should have taken that other path up, but whatever. It's okay. I've already gone too far. It's okay. Oh, 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 she left her box. Yeah, dude. Do you mean like her lookout? <laughs> yeah, she left her lookout. I mean, you kind of, you had to see this coming, right? I mean, it's a little obvious. Hmm. The mystery. It unfolds. God, it is smoky out here. Hey, uh, I just thought of something. What? Not, Why? Uh, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. I don't know if that was the right thing. Ah, shit. My thoughts exactly. Our radios were tapped. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. Damn it. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck indeed. Fuck indeed. <laughs> really need to get to the bottom of this. Okay. It's okay. Chances are, uh, I think that blatant lie that uh, we told is uh, not is the least of our worries, if I'm being honest. Because if uh, if something was going to be done about it, it would have already been done. I mean, there's no way they would keep a potential murderer or kidnapper out here. Where, you know, I could stumble upon a potential victim. Fuck. That was uh, an elk. Something. What is it? Or a deer. I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Hmm. <sighs> Fuck. How about you don't do that again? Hmm. Interesting. Definitely the sound of a dying elk. Straight up. Am I going the right way? I feel like I'm going the right way. Yeah, going the right way. Still remembering where I'm going. It's good, it's good. 
somewhat anyway. <laughs> Climbing down the rope. Doo -doo -doo. Can't believe they took my goddamn turtle. <laughs> Never went down that way, did I? Oh no, I did, yeah. Hmm. The mystery is expounding upon itself. Curious. Curious, curious. I probably should have kept that other radio with me, so we could have left them hints and clues, honestly. I mean, it's kind of dumb to just leave it, you know? What if we want to set a trap? No clipboard this time. Maybe it's back where you found it. Oh, the turtle? Maybe. I mean, do I want to walk all that way? Probably not. If he's there, he went there of his own volition. I will not question the motives of Turt. <clears throat> I want to walk around with the axe and just start swinging it at things. Is that weird? Seems a little weird. There are those rocks again. I'm going to walk by here one of these days and those rocks are not going to be there anymore and I'm going to freak out. This game is making me nervous. I don't know what I'm going to find, but I'm concerned. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. I wonder if there's an alternate way in. Do your thing, Pulaski. Fuck yeah. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. All right. Yeah. Fuck off, B. No. I report a bee sting. I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is, is that it? Just letting you know. Yeah. Did it? Did it hurt? <laughs> yes, kind of. Okay, I'm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Close the lid. Okay. So they'll just know that I was here. I mean, if the smashed up fence wasn't a big enough indicator. Yeah. I don't like when it gives me... Oh, what? What? Oh, no. Oh, no. I broke it. I'm stuck inside the rock. Oh, God. <laughs> God damn it, game. I was just getting excited. What is, what is this? Delilah, help me. <laughs> I'm stuck in the rock. <laughs> God damn it. Shit. You just keep going. Oh no. I feel like I'm gonna. I can make it? I don't know. Okay. What, what, what is happening? I'm on top of the rope? What is going on? What is going on? Oh. Oh no. Um. What? Oh, shit. Game, why? Let me, ha, I got it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Why you do this game? Why? This is kind of spooky. This flashlight sucks. Have I mentioned that? music is putting me on edge. That and sinking into rocks and getting stuck. Oh, let's see, Delilah's look out from here apparently.
That is definitely a station. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. Lucky for them. I got a goddamn axe. Comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Twenty foot tall transmission tower. And they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. But I can see her tower right there. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, well, yeah. What do we have here? What the fuck? They're sectioning off the ground and doing it by coordinates. That's the kind of stuff that archaeologists do. Soil grid. Now they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? A ladder. Report the ladder. No. Found their camp. Or a camp anyway. There is all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Beeping equipment, I love it. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal Beeping? legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. Hmm. Well, that's going into the ground. Is there like a gas vein down here or something? I have no idea. Shelf of food. I'm in their main tent. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. Sturdy leather belt. Looks heavy. Wave receiver. Oh my god, light, stop it. Is it just like, what is making this light? Something is blinking, and I don't like it. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Target straight hey, ahead, distance, light, equals the signal, like strength, to anything tone, to source see. things. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy. Holy shit, Henry. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> waggle, waggle, waggle. Right? Yeah, okay. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna take it. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go. It's after it. a strong signal. What do you think a wave receiver does? God. Camp stove. Are there any notes written? No. Equipment. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. I want to know what that thing finds. Look, you should get out before they come back. Yeah, I, I think this thing is responding to something in this pile of crap on the desk. Dig through it. Oh my god, it's a black box. Shit. Take the log. Take the log, get out of there. Don't just sit there and doggle it. Someone's gonna come behind you, dog. You Take that shit. Yes. Take There's it. There's a folder of reports here. Take it. What do they say? Give me that. Their assessments about Give the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is. What? Did, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus. Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. Well, we your tone got real down. pretty crazy. Think about it. Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. Like murder two hikers? It's dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? 
I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, like... It's not the best idea. Break into their camp, steal their it's shit? Definitely not the best idea. What is that sound? Uh, so fucking wound up. It's alright, I'm just gonna... Is that just I, the generator? We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Interesting. Not rock man, my theory is that you're just tripping balls. It's entirely possible. The isolation could have gotten to him and made him start to think things that weren't true. Jump. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. Oh, shit. Wait. Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. What? I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell oh happened to you? It's God. definitely not the best idea. Son it wasn't bitch. me. <sighs> what do we do? Uh, get the fuck out. Call it in, ignore it. Uh, call Just it in. Call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, yeah. get us the hell out of here. I will. Jesus Christ. Okay. Has it been saying day 77 this entire time? I feel like it's been repeating the same day. Or are we but just on the same day? Groundhog Day. No! Baby Sneaky's in. Shut up, Rockman. You know, and I'm, I'm super sneaky. Who is listening to us? Oh, he's got the... He's got the crazy board going up. I love it. Team out. This receiver just picked something up. It's like a signal. It's going beep, beep. Yeah, what could yeah, it beep, be? Beep, beep. <laughs> I don't know. You've got to find out. All right, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? <laughs> no! I am getting drunk! Understood. <laughs> Good plan, maybe a bad idea. Uh, don't, don't do that. Don't do that! I know, I know. Everything has gone to total shit, but... You gotta live a little. You gotta allow, Hank. Susceptibility no, no, to right. manipulation. Nine out of ten. Reason why you fuck? want your decision making inhibited right now? My thinking is, I could stay up all night, worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is, I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Really? You took off your wedding ring. Tracking device. Right. Looks like I'm going to the lake. Okay, so just, I guess, radio it off. I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm waiting to, like, look over there and just see a fire. And then I, like, have to rush over there. If you touch the touchpad, you can check your notes. What? Oh my god, I had no idea. That's cool. Let's see this. Huh. Yeah, I had no idea. That's cool, though. Thanks. I don't think I was ever told that little uh, bit of information, but it's okay.
medicine wheel, huh? Alright. Makes me wonder what they were tracking. Beeping's a little annoying. Oh, really? Well. There's... Oh, shit! Ah, stop it. Shut up. I thought that was a fucking bomb. Jesus. <laughs> ah. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, oh. no, fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. And I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. You say that. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. What? I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's, it's not letting me run. I don't like this. It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Okay, let me sprint now, please. Thank you. I'm going to go commit axe murder now. But maybe that's what they want. Yo, get out of my fucking lookout, dog. Shit's mine. Mine. It's okay, I was heading back up this way anyway. What if I just, like, fucked off and said, you know what, screw it, I don't want to go back to my, my fucking lookout. They could be armed. They could have, like, attack squirrels or something. I don't know why that's the first terrifying thing that, uh, came to mind, but, uh... Who's up here? The light's not on. How did you see someone in here? <laughs> Please don't throw my typewriter at me. They probably already left. Yeah. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. What the fuck? I left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. Is all my info still there? Yeah, tracking things still there, all that stuff still there. Window still broken. The animals! Those are some damn good headphones. Fuck! It's a tape of us talking down at the site. Sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down, and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. Yeah. No! Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? That is not the opposite of freaking out.
shit is getting super intense. together okay keep our story straight from the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation everything we just we got to be honest and consistent yeah i suppose you're right i know okay well shit is getting pretty intense but on that note i'm gonna go ahead and cut the episode here if you guys liked it feel free to uh hit that like button leave a comment down below all that stuff and i will catch you guys later. Bye-bye!